Hey, how are you guys doing? I am Katz, and this is Iagus. You can follow him at root Iagus, not at root Katz. And this is not my Twitter. Um, if you follow this man on Twitter, you'll probably get much lesser quality tweets. So don't follow this guy on Twitter. Uh, no, that's me actually. And uh, what? And you are uh, root Iagus. You pointed at me. No, I pointed at your Twitter. Anyway. Right here. Oh, right. Right how, here. How silly of me. I can't... Here. To miss that. Such an obvious detail. Anyway. Um, yeah, so a heads up for you guys. There's uh, quite a few of you watching, but quite a few uh, of you not being able to watch because, you know, you're watching I Am. And that's completely understandable. That's a little bit of a scheduling conflict that we run into and we weren't expecting. So... We are going to postpone the next best of five and the finals until IAM is done, which should be a couple hours. So we're going to finish this match or uh, this series between Major and State. But Massa versus Kane and the finals of the tournament will be pushed after until after IAM is finished. Uh, we already talked to the players. Everyone's cool with it. Hopefully you guys are and happy about that so you don't have to split attention or decide between one tournament or the other. Um, having said that, we are on Frost, perhaps by many considered the most balanced map in TVP. Would you agree with that? Well, the main isn't like ridiculously huge, so it's not the best Blink Stalker map. So yes, by definition, it is okay for TVP. But... I mean, otherwise, no, it's a fine map. It can be difficult in cross position, which we've got now. There are some builds that Protoss have which are really good at... Um, Taking advantage of the massive rush distance. Alright. And uh, what are the good things for Terran on this map? Uh, good things for Terran? Well, like I said, there's enough room for Reapers to have a reasonable go at trying to scouting, uh, trying to scout the main. Um, but it's not super great for Blink Stalkers. It's not like a Yonsa or a Heavy Rain or a Daedalus Point or a... Mm -hmm. No, those are all the good Blink maps. Um, so that, that's a good thing for Terran? Yeah, Blink Stalkers are annoying. The fact that you don't have to worry about them quite as much is convenient. All um, right. And the layout of the th of like a the third and the fourth base, there's enough room for you to be able to dart in between all of them, and, <laughs> and there's enough extra airspace to send in drops. Yeah, and it seems like there's plenty of open space in the middle of the map, so that should yeah. be a little bit easier to control against storms and whatnot if you can position your army in the middle of the map, right? Yeah, it's easy to get a good concave on an advancing enemy army, both Terran and Protoss. Right. Um, like, if it's just a choke, then Protoss are just going to force their way through it. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, okay. So there we go. That's a breakdown of the map for you. Mm -hmm. Looks like Major is going to be dropping a CC and State and Nexus at pretty much the exact same time. How often does that happen? Uh, can you put on the production tab, please? Of course. Thank you. Um, yeah, okay, so this game he delayed his mothership core till after the Nexus. It's because, like, this is the most standardish. Um, economic opener. It's not vulnerable to Reaper, um, and it's not, and it is a little vulnerable to cheese. But this is Frost. You can't cheese on this map. Right. The rush is like sense. even if you put even, even Reapers, right? Even Reaper is not gonna get there in time on Frost. It's gonna be much later. So mm, yeah. Even if the Mothership Core was delayed until after the Nexus. If it's normally made before the Nexus. Um, sure it can be. It depends. Like, if the Protoss Pro scouts and sees that it's like, like that he's not getting proxied, mm -hmm. um, then yeah, like that. That's usually what happens. I think often Protoss will do it without scouting anyway, and the Mothership Core pops out just in time to push the Reaper away. The Protoss might lose a probe or two, but that's only a maybe, and it's still worth it. I think. Yeah, and I think State from the scout timing. He gathered that Major might be in close position, so he's not scouting pro cross positions at all, uh, just yet. Uh, so his gut feeling is going to be wrong here, of course. Uh, Major is cross positions, just his scout was a little bit earlier than normal, perhaps, with the SCV. And now oh, the Reaper, like you said, by a state. Yeah, by state, he's out of position. Reaper's going to see everything and escape. Oh, it's not going to escape. Okay. If you pull the back immediately after seeing the forge on the road. Oh, no. Reapers well, are incredible. Escape. Yeah, they are. I forgot how good the Reapers are. Yeah, it's yeah they're pretty good units. Okay, so we saw Forge Robo, and that's really good. Like, Mage is going to be happy seeing that. There are a lot of Protoss spells that can just cripple you if you don't see them coming and react specifically, and Forge Robo is the complete opposite of that playstyle. 
It's a lot more passive. Yeah, it's a lot so. more passive. Like, Mage is going to be able to do whatever it is that he wants. Yeah, perhaps go for an earlier third than he was planning in response. Um, he adds two barracks, however, so... Well, I saw that he had a factory in, like, a couple Hellions, and I've seen this build. Like, I sometimes look at the top crew. Korea Grandmaster ladder, just to, just out of curiosity to see what their build orders are. And I saw this one. It's Reaper Expand into Factory, but instead of being a mine drop, they had, like, two Hellions. And they allowed two mines if they're worried about Oracle. And I've really been curious what this build is like to actually play. Like, wow, this these must be Hellions pretty exciting do? for you. Yeah, like, what do these two Hellions do? I don't understand it. I don't understand what the premise of the rest of the build is. Well, I can't uh, speak for Juan and know if he understands it for sure, because I'm sure that's where he got it, uh, where that's where he got the builds. Well, maybe he knows lots uh, of cool Terrans and just talks to them. Oh, it's quite possible as well. Yeah, he was on Jyn Air, former, oh. or former so he teammate. Takes all of Maru's so. builds. Uh, well, no, he was on Jyn Air before Maru was there, but ah. uh, Cure was there. Oh. So, Good Cure, Cure's an amazing Terran. And the Observer is going to see pretty much everything for state, so both players are fully aware of what their opponent is doing at this point. Or uh, how do you think state feels about what he sees there, here? And state adding Colossus, getting his observers out. Got a couple gateways as well. Yeah, I think he's still only on one gateway, so... Yeah, neither player really wanting to drop the third. It's usually the Protoss that drops the third after the Terran though, well, right? Well, yeah, they usually wait till the Terran to do it first. Like, there's this pretty nasty build on this map that I know Chad quite very much enjoys, because he's evil. Yes. Um, you just make an Oracle, you can proxy it if you want, but you make an Oracle, and then you just take your third immediately before you add anything else. Mm -hmm. And the Oracle, if you control it, correctly, it will just keep the Terran pinned in his base until Medivacs, and at that point you've added a, extra gateways, a forge, and just a ton of Stalker Sentry. Yeah. And Chad like, always the way plays, he needs it seems to... like Chad always plays uh, to take a fast third as safely as possible while being as greedy as possible. Uh, it's... He cuts a fine line between safety and, and, and greed greediness. with his third timings often. Um, but it usually works out, because I always and, like lose to him. Yeah, I can't. I can't ever punish his third. His PVT is <laughs> crazy. Yeah, his PVT is nuts. Yeah, so is his PVC. It's and, like the uh, way you actually got... Chad will be playing the winner of this tournament. Oh, in the show match. So well, he, PVT, he won the maybe. other tournament. Uh, it could be. It could be a PV It could be any matchup at this point in time. Actually, could be a PVP, PVZ, or PVT. I guess not any matchup. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Angels moved out with his standard like. Your standard 10 min medevac timing. I think it's a little quicker with this build, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he will be able to deny the third. I, I don't know if State saw a move, but yeah, cancels instantly. Yeah, State not quite in position. Can you uh, Mage has only got like two Marauders though, so his army doesn't really want to get into a fight. Yeah, and uh, the Colossus is going to help immensely, as is the Photon Overcharge. Oh, those Stalkers are not yeah, in the they're right kind spot. Of they don't even have Blink, they don't like have blink he could exactly, chase so. them. Yeah, and stay trying to hide him as best as possible, but they're gonna get found. Those four stalkers are as good as dead. Yeah, that's that's like a huge mistake. Yeah, you shouldn't be losing four stalkers like this. Stay trying to kill what he can. Yeah, they were chasing the Hellions, so they got they they were off position before uh, the army of Major got in position. And by the time he tried to pull him back, Major's army was in position to block that return path. So unfortunately, two Hellions aren't worth four stalkers. Like chasing after two Hellions is not worth four stalkers. Yeah. Absolutely not. And uh, there's uh, Blink almost finished though. Okay, Mages added his Armory and his Eve. The power of um, forge, the Forge Robot build though is just like, um, with just one Forge you can always have very competitive upgrades against Terran. Like he's already started, he's already finished 1-1 one, one, I think. No, I'm sure he's finished 1-1, one, one. now he's getting plus to attack. That's before Major, who's adding his second Eve, is gonna have, like, he's gonna have 2-2 two, two before the double upgrading Terran is gonna have 2 2. Yeah, Carnivals is pretty good. It's the strength of Forge Robo. Yeah. Oh no, a misclick by State. I'm gonna cost them two Stalkers. God oh, damn, State. Get yeah. it together, man. Get it together, man. Oh, but at the same time, doing great harass here. There's a Warp Prism, oh. it's in the main. Yeah, the Warp Prism is in the main, and. Oh, uh, it died? I suppose it did. Oh, I don't know. Okay, well... There are Vikings out on the field. Oh, well. he has four Vikings, okay. So he was rallying Vikings and pro probably into, like, the airspace and just killed a Warp Prism. 
Fair yeah, enough. and uh, major quite ahead in in resources and and or yeah resources lost tab quite ahead meaning he's lost less, mm -hmm. and with an earlier third, this is looking pretty good for major so far. Yeah, say. but any push that he decides to do, like there's a tremendous defender's advantage. But oh dear. Oh, that could have been big. There's there's a lot of defender's advantage for state. Yeah, you know, these four marines are dead. He's gonna blink in a second here and take him out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this uh, this unit's lost here is actually gonna equalize a little bit. Yeah. Uh, thanks to those two little pokes in by Major. Major Major thinks his Polk can just run two groups of medevacs around and win the game, but it's a little harder than that. Yeah. And against like a lot of Blink Stalkers, small bio groups, it's very dangerous to have them out like that. Definitely. This pylon will get taken down by Major, so that's good on him. Uh, lots of Blink Stalkers, oh, oh wow. not getting the Medivacs, but a few more Marines and Marauders going down. It seems like, uh, players are oh, okay. choosing to misclick a lot. State's content to leave those two alive. Warn the others, yeah, spread he, fear. Yeah, he might have thought it was a, a bait or that there was something else coming as he didn't have control of the Watchtower, despite being very near it. So, like, Major's actually supply block for quite a good deal there. He's still ahead in supply though. Just faster third, mules, Terran. Cheaper, yeah. cheap marines, easy to amass. Yeah, and there's a uh, ghost academy on the way as well. Mm -hmm. So Major is heading to the composition that he pretty much wants, right? It, it doesn't get much better than that for turn. Um, yeah, he's getting ghost viking with two upgrades. He's gonna have three three by the time like uh, states not gonna be able to hit a three three timing. Right. And just punish like poor Terran upgrades. Yeah, even getting the plus one attack probably for the Vikings. Uh, yeah, for that time, is for Vikings. For time, they yeah. merged them a while ago. They didn't change the icon. Right. What? They didn't change the icon. Um, like That's the vehicle attack upgrade icon. Oh, it's because it's Ship used now. a different one. Yeah, it's the same. It's merged. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, those are going to be upgrades for the Vikings on uh, the plus one. No, one, two, three, four. Or nope. Just three. Three Vikings are gonna go down here. Good pickups by State, not losing any any stalkers there. Probably could have lost one, but even if he loses one, for three Vikings, that is a good trade. Absolutely. Like these Vikings are very important. Killing off Terran tech units before the big fight, that sucks for Terran. Yeah, that and, sucks. And uh lot. good harass here by State is gonna force a little bit of the army of Major. To, yeah, it's uh, gonna force whatever he wanted to rally across the map yeah, to go plus, home. And plus defend. some attention as well, right? That delayed the attack by a little bit. Yeah. Um, uh, at the same time as this is happening, oh, wow, this Major is, a, is not a good attack timing for. You don't think so? It looks it looks good for Major. Uh, well, only two had... storms left. He's gotta be careful with those. But oh, losing all the Vikings is big. The Vikings did their job. The Colossus are dead. Okay, that was a good move. If the whole point of the attack was just to get a drop through, that's worthwhile. It's just that like he wasn't gonna kill uh, State with that attack. State Templar, Major no ghosts. That's. Yeah, but I think trades favor Major at this point in time, don't they? Um, seeing Major has uh, base up. Trades like the medevac for trades like the medevac for all those probes are good. Trades like that many Vikings for three Colossus is like, yeah, it's, it's almost good. Yeah, I, I would say it is just because of, of the of the income and the supply advantage that Major has. Plus, mm. he's establishing a fourth as state when state is here. So that was good on him. I'm yeah. surprised to, to not see that barracks in the choke land to prevent further run bys by state or the factory. Well, he had a two, he there? had two depots there before, so yeah. just can that land there though? No, it can, it can, it can seal it off. So you'll it notice, like, should, right? Yeah, you'll notice that mech players will land their barracks there, which because they don't want it. And conversely, right. if you're playing bio, like pure bio, you'll land your factory there eventually. Yeah, three AFK medevacs, a little bit of a uh, uh, mistake. Maybe just gonna jump that marauder into the bunker. But that won't prevent the cells from killing SCVs. At the same time, Major a little bit greedy going for the Nexus here. I think he could have focused fired the Templar instead, and now he does. Yeah, I don't think he's, he was getting the Nexus, but yeah, he's no doing does. good damage. Yeah, absolutely. Killing a lot of probes. The units lost that is going to show that this game is Whoa, pretty darn even in that regard, actually. Yeah, he that was his own probes of Storm. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a mean. little bit of a mistake, yeah. There wasn't that many probes in that base, and Major is going to be hitting 3-3 three, three upgrades uh, in just a second. Hmm, he's actually going to have an upgrade advantage. I think State's been missing a lot of chrono boosts on his forge, because he should have at least one of his plus 3s finished with good forge robo chrono boosting. 
I mean, he has been a little preoccupied. He's got an excuse, but if Major if Major hits now while he's actually ahead on upgrades, it could be really good. But you see, like he's currently got the this drop going, and State has this really sick concave in the middle of the map. Major can't actually advance into that. It's very difficult. Yeah, uh, I think it's gonna come down to how this engagement goes. As Major will be able to take State's third during it. Lots of ghosts, but no EMPs just... Oh, they're great EMPs now, but unfortunately for Major, most of his army's already gone. Yeah, he took way too much, way too many hits from the Storms. Yeah. Having 20 supply on the other side of the map is very difficult when both players are basically maxed. Yeah, Major now pulling probes. Those Archons, luckily for him and the, and the Immortals without shields, will go down fast, but are they going to go fast enough? Yeah, and it's, now State's oh, camped on his production. He's going to kill him. Okay. Yeah, at the same time, well, at the same time, Major is going for State's third. If Major can somehow stable this here. He's, I don't think he can. Like, yeah. all these, all these Protoss units are just going to tear off his main. Yeah, the production is a problem here, because any unit that pops out will get singled out and killed right away. Um, so, so that's the issue for Major right now. Yeah, and Major's like 50 supply down, all his workers are killed, his production is camp, the zealots all up in his everywhere, he's dead, he's gone. Yeah. GG soon. Just yesterday, uh, State tweeted after his games uh, that he was happy for advancing, but that he didn't show a, a good PVT. He said PVT is one of his weakest matchups, but he said, I promise. I will do better tomorrow. And he's al he already has, I feel like. Hmm. He's, he's definitely gonna, doing better. Yeah, he's going to tie up the series here. 2-2 uh, two to two against Major. And going into a final deciding game. After Major being up 2-0. Uh, you know, it's, it's, State's going to well, be going pretty... Oh, okay, there we go. Well, he <laughs> was up 2-0, yeah. He was virtually up 2-0. We just wanted to wait. Major just had to... Well, this is, this is now 2-2. Two, two. Yes. Because State won the last game, so... Exactly. What a game. Hmm. Uh, Good, um, well, I mean, State, he assembled the death ball properly, and he actually controlled that fight really well. I think Major wasn't quite prepared. Like, I don't think Major kept a good tab on where State's army was, and I've lost, like, a lot of games, even against, like, complete trash, terrible Protosses with three fingers on, like, between both hands. Just because I didn't know where their army was, and all of a sudden, everything's just getting stormed and colossus yeah, Colossus. <laughs> yeah, like. if you don't know, if if you got no idea where Protoss's units are, and you just get surprised, it's bad for Terran. You need to keep tabs on where the army is. All right, take it from Iagos, and uh, also follow him on at root Iagos. We'll be back probably together. I'm not sure if Steven will be here or I, but we are happy to have Iagos here so that we understand, or you guys can understand a little bit better what's going on in PVT. Because we seriously have no idea. So yeah, you bet Zugs, I wouldn't expect it. Yeah. Uh, we will be back in just 90 seconds, I think, Rob, from production. And, yeah.